months, our pasture-raised chickens enjoy eating fresh grass, <laughs> bugs, and whatever else it is that they eat that I can't even see. In return, I enjoy eating their eggs with the rich orange yolk, and even enjoy turning some of them into chicken dinners that we enjoy throughout the year. But now, at this time of year, when the daylight hours are getting shorter and it's getting colder outside and the chickens are laying fewer eggs, what do you do with your chickens? Do you just get rid of them all? No. Do you eat them all? Well, you could, but if you have some good egg layers, you probably want to keep them around for next year. So that way you have eggs then, or some you may even want to breed. But even though their egg production has dropped, there's still a number of benefits to raising chickens during the colder months. And there's a number of things that you can do with them that will help increase food production for you and your family. And there were three ways that we recently have done this. The first way is we took our pasture chickens out of the pasture and brought them closer to home. <laughs> There's one in the tree still. One still up there? There's one right in the tree. That slugger still there? That looks like me. I don't want to wake One, two, three, four hands right there. Oh God. <laughs> Mikey, don't you see the corner? This way, Mom. No, he's fine. He's fine. You just keep walking slowly forward. Just push him to the corner. Alright guys, let's pull up the fence and make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Reduce our trips coming down here. Burn. Go. Long distance. 
Glad you guys helped me out. We're almost out of the passage. Let's rest for a minute. This is the hard part. What we just did. The driveway is a lot easier. I definitely want to make sure on this one the next year. Set this one up in a way that I can have a hitch on it. Not just one chicken, but multiple chickens crossing the road. Unfortunately, I guess. Alright, right about here we'll stop, guys. Alright. Alright. That was a little tough, moving that chick shawl without a tractor that far from our pasture closer to home. But it will make a big difference over the next few months having them closer to our house. One is, we won't have to go way out there in the field, it being cold and wet and sloppy, to tend to them. With them being a lot closer, it makes those chores a lot easier. Also, with moving them off the pasture during the colder months when the pasture isn't growing grass and things aren't good, it helps your pasture to rest and be able to grow and be ready for the warmer months. So you definitely don't want to just totally destroy your pasture with keeping chickens on them. So we got that first chick shawl down. Then we still had to do that second one that was still out there. Shawl right here actually has a hitch on it, which is good if my tractor is working. Two lawn tractors down, so I'm not pulling this hitch with a tractor. Once again, I gotta do it by hand. We don't have any weenies here. We have champions. Push, push. It's a little harder here. Ah, oh, need a break, burn. Woo! To burn you? Burn me. I was slipping Woo! three times. I know, it's a little slippery. It's a little slippery. It makes it a little more challenging, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh.
Still doing okay? Going good. All righty. Okay, I'm slowing down. Easy, easy. Truck can go a lot faster than my tractor, so I just gotta be mindful. I don't wanna rip the chicks all apart I'm trying to go too fast through here. That wouldn't be good. Rip it apart, chicken flying everywhere, turkey flying up in the air. How we doing? your wings. Yeah, we're going to clip one of your wings. And you just clip one side, so that way if they do try to fly out of wherever you have them, having just one wing clipped kind of throws their flight off. So, so you can see there, she was trying to fly, she was going sideways. next few weeks and months that the chickens will be in the high tunnel they'll be in there expressing their chickenness and doing the things that chickens do eating leftover plant residue eating seeds dormant bugs and all the things that they need to do to prep this area for growing plants next year and they'll also be adding some fresh manure and fertilizer as they're going about those different tasks and you don't want to use fresh manure on plants directly it's just too strong for them you want at least 90 days for that manure to break down for your longer term crops like tomatoes and peppers and eggplants and you want at least 120 days for your shorter term crops like your root crops beets carrots things like that and also your greens is what most experts recommend so the chickens will be hanging out in that high tunnel cleaning it up and adding their fertilizer to it and then around february-ish we'll take them out of there and that space will be getting gearing up to be ready for plants a little after that but not everybody can raise their chickens in pasture areas and bring them into high tunnels and greenhouses some people can only raise chickens in static pens or static runs which is what we have for our composting chickens they stay in a static run 
and we use them to make compost for us in our garden spaces. However, with raising chickens in a static pen or a static run, you want to make sure that they have fresh bedding. It'll help them to stay healthier and their environment to just be better overall. And to do so, you want to make sure that you're adding fresh mulch and wood chips throughout the year for them so that way that area stays sanitized. And that was something that I also had to do recently. And this can be done by hand, which I have done in the past but it's a lot easier when you have some heavy equipment like this excavator here. You ready to run? Ready to run? All right. That's Give me that more of the toes, more of the toes. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. And using the mulch not only helps make their area healthier for them, the chickens also scratch at it, add their manure to it, all the while while making some of the best compost you have ever seen. So that was our pasture chickens, our composting chickens, and we also have our chicken tractors that we use to raise our meat chickens or broilers, whatever you want to call them. And I also recently moved them into the garden directly.
During the warmer months, I primarily used the chicken tractors for raising meat birds. However, in the colder months, I don't raise meat birds then. However, I do use the chicken tractors for some of our breeder birds, as well as some of our fall egg laying chicks for the next year. A lot of people will buy their chicks in the springtime and they usually don't start laying eggs until months later and they really don't get a lot out of them the first year. But you can raise chicks in the fall and then by the time spring and summer comes, they're laying eggs for you. So I recently moved some of our red stars that we got from Murray McMurray not too long ago into the chicken tractors. Ouch! Man, that was a hard pack there, buddy. All those chicks are there as well as our other breeder birds will be moving the chicken tractors along in the garden and they'll be scratching away cleaning it up adding fertilizer to the garden space as well similar to those that are in the high tunnel but as they're there we'll also be adding organic matter like leaves and pine shavings just to help build that soil up even more all the while wow helping to produce more food next year. So all around in multiple ways, these are some ways that we are using chickens during these colder months to help us to produce more food. Are you doing the same with your chickens? Well, you better start getting on it if you haven't already.